So obviously it crashed at the end of last episode, otherwise I totally would have kept playing. So right, it looks like this is the end. Halt. Everything we want to know about our family is inside. Wow, it's got a Kunari skull above it, for some, or maybe ogre. Well, Either way, intimidating. This is the vault, but we can peek up here into a door we can't open. So I guess down here. Well, let's see, we've got the important ch chest and the not so important chest. It's got seven silver. Nine gold. Oh, this is a good thing for Bethany. Bethany's armor just got a new inventory slot of some kind. And here's the will. This is it. Grandfather's will. Mother needs to see this as soon as possible. Let's go. We'll take it to her right now. We were done in Dark Town anyway. Right? I'm pretty sure we were done in Dark Town. So I'm just saying, blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. It's only fair if you make something of a monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Uh, maybe just put something towards food. You should be paying us, Uncle. We found the will. He forgave you, Mother. Grandfather left you everything. Here, read it. Uh, ah, I should maybe... To my daughter, Leandra, and all children born of her, the estate in Hightown and all associated revenues. Check out the part where Gamlin is left only a stipend to be controlled by you. Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is. You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Go, Mom. How you feeling, Mom? When I told your grandmother I was marrying your father. She threatened to disown me. She said my children would be mongrels. My father wanted to lock me in, but she told him it's her life. Let her ruin it. I wrote to her when each of you were born. She never wrote back. I'm glad she didn't die hating me. The estate is yours. Why are we still here? Technically, the house is now property of the Viscount, since its owner died without an heir. If we went there now, we would just be squatters. But if the Viscount acknowledges our rights, we can get back more than the house. We can get back our name. Grandmother didn't want you to leave. She tried holding on to you the only way she knew. She would have been so proud of you. You're everything she wanted in an Amel grandchild. Not she a maid. had a hard time accepting it at first, but she would have loved you, all three of you. Carver. He was such a little boy. Never had a knee that wasn't scraped or trousers without holes. He was so young. 
never got to be the man he wanted. I just keep thinking there's something we could have done. It's killing me. I, I remember that awful creature reaching down and... 18 years of loving and feeding and raising and... That was it. At least you're past the it's all your fault thing. I'm sorry, love. I was distraught. I never really believed that. It's just... I miss him. There were four of us when the blight began. It will never be over while there are just three. I've written to the Viscount. I have an audience for after Bartran's expedition leaves. I couldn't do anything for Carver. But with luck, I could at least give us a home. Neat. Bethany, what are you doing over here now? You're standing in puppykins. Making it very hard to talk to you. I guess we're talking to puppykins. Buddy, you're... Keep it down, dog. <laughs> All that noisy dog breath, day in, day out, make him stop. Well, pardon my dog for breathing. If you think you can stop him, be my guest. <laughs> there, isn't that annoying? Mm. Ah, blight take you. He's a good boy. Now I could talk to Bethany. Why don't you go pick up something at the market? You could use some air. What? Hey! I can't believe Gamelin stole Mother's entire inheritance. I mean, I can believe it. That's the worst part. I could never turn against my own sister like that. You're a better person than Gamelin could ever be. Well, hopefully we'll be out of here soon. You know, when we went to look for that will, I thought we were doing it for Mother, for what she lost. I didn't realize how much it would mean to me to know I had grandparents who didn't hate me. <laughs> they might have been all right with the Ferelden thing. But just imagine if they'd known you were an apostate. You're such a wretch. <laughs> I was just hoping it would be different this time. Here in Kirkwall. We're not running away again. We're coming home. Are you unhappy here? I wish I could do more for Mother. Carver's death. It's killing her slowly every day. But maybe if we can reclaim some of what she lost, it will help. I'd do anything to get us back a normal life. Why did Mother and Father work so hard to keep you from the Circle? Would it have been so bad? I guess at first, I was just a little girl. They didn't want to lose me. And once I had learned anything, what would the Templars do to an active apostate, not just a mage blood child? It changed their lives, your life, Carver's, all because of who I am. It's fine. Sometimes I wonder if it would have been so bad to be with my own kind, to serve the Chantry as Andraste demands. What do you think Carver would have made of all this? He'd have said something he would have rude, hated probably. this place. All the sneering nobles. He'd have gotten himself arrested the first day. And he would have wanted in on your Deep Roads expedition. Anything to make a name for himself. Sometimes I still can't believe he's gone. Can you imagine if we'd grown up here? Been nobility? Had grandparents who bought us all and silk dresses with lace petticoats? Father was a good man. But Mother gave up so much for him. Of course, if she hadn't worked up the nerve to elope, she probably wouldn't have been able to resist the Templars either. If we'd been born here, you'd be nothing more to me than a name the Circle kept in my file. Let's see if Mother gets us that mansion. I don't want to call anywhere Uncle Gamlin is home. <laughs> Has he moved that bowl of porridge since we've been here? It's been a year. I can't even remember what it was like to have a place of our own. 
I might even take the circle if they'll give me a clean bed of my own sheets. <laughs> Won't clean itself, Uncle. <laughs> Bethany, I got a thing for you. I think this is a picture of Mother. She looks like you. Where did you get that? Was it at the estate? Let me see. Is it? I think this is Mother's betrothal portrait from when she was supposed to marry the Comte. Look! You can see the ring. I suppose it would have been a bit awkward to take it with her. I know she loved father. I guess I just wondered if she'd have been happier if he hadn't been a mage. If I wasn't a mage. I know that made it hard for mother. It's nice to have a reminder of a time when she still knew how to smile. Rebuilding. I don't know if I could ever return to the site of such horrors. Oh, gotta go hit up Hubert. Stash. A good dagger. All its junk. Can't wear it yet. Actually, I could wear that one. Do I actually want to carry it though? Eh. How likely am I to run into somebody with... Nah, it's fine. These are better. Let's head out to do daytime things, friendos. While it's still daytime. High town! You know, by the time this episode's going up, I'll probably be in the next semester of school from where I am now. I wonder what classes I'll be taking. Probably fun stuff, but I'll probably have a million tons of homework right now. Or right now relative to... Lady Sunshine, what's your first act as a noblewoman going to be? <laughs> a noblewoman with no fortune and no title. Looking for work, probably. <laughs> Practicality is for peasants, milady. You need to do something frivolous to celebrate your birthright. Such as? Come up to the high town market and complain bitterly that there's no Orlesian silk that matches your eyes. But what if something does match my eye? What will I do then? Insist that they're blatantly copying you and demand royalties. A good noble always has a complaint ready, sunshine. <laughs> I love Varric's nicknames for everybody. Alright, so I have to find ingredients to be able to make runes. I have more gold than I thought I did, though, so I mean, that's good. We can do bone pit quests. Here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Serves me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. Your first mistake was naming your mine the Bone Pit. The locals named the mine. Those fools say it's cursed. That is why I hire Ferelden's. They may be dull-witted, but they're not superstitious. Mind what you say about my countrymen. I was not referring to you, of course. My workers are a particularly desperate sort. They're lucky to work for me. Few in Kirkwall will hire refugees. Hey, just for fun, uh, you're not Kirkwall either. What's the reward? You're from Orlais. I will pay handsomely. The exact amount depends on what perils you face. 
Surely the miners had good reason to leave. I am at a loss. No miner has reported in, and no one takes me seriously. The Bone Pit must be dangerous if people are afraid to venture there. No, nothing like that. Pay no heed to local superstition. The Bone Pit is mostly harmless. You said some of your workers are Ferelden. Yes, all of them. An unruly lot, to be sure. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The Bone Pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. Who knows? I didn't check the stores. I gotta check the stores while I'm here. I don't think I did it last time either. Ooh, the puzzle ring. I like the puzzle ring. That's always fun to have. Take my junk. Oh, <laughs> I've got five things in my inventory. That's fine. Armor, what you got? Wow. Ooh. No, never mind. Coin can buy. And then this guy who sells robes and the also sand. sticks. Oh no, not sticks. Who's the guy who sells sticks? I guess it's somebody else. A backpack. We need to buy backpacks any chance we get. Surely an to hold more stuff to sell to make more money. It's worth it in the long run. This way. Right over here. Oh, we're going in there. What are we doing at the Blooming Rose? Oh well. We'll figure it out. I haven't been here yet. It's fine. Does this put it on my map? No, I think I still have to walk here every time. Not that I come here that often, so it's fine. And here we are in the brothel. My day is complete. Stay here for long. Madame Lucille runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. Do do do. You know, I expected there to be more loose things just laying around here. I heard you lost something. This it? I, I had never thought to see this again. Thank you. There we go, a chest. Oh, now I can make lightning runes. That's rad. I like lightning. Found a belt. I wonder what kind. Probably not a good one. this to your mother if you do. Master Storms, can you teach me to make a shiv now? You promised. My mom walks here. Okay. And you want to learn how to make a shiv? Do you ever wish you lived in Orzammar? Great answers. No. You know what Orzammar is? It's crab tunnels filled with numb shit and body odor. 
And every person there thinks he's better than you because his great great grandfather made a water clock or something. <laughs> but they're your people. Don't you even wonder what it would be like? I have a good imagination. Why would I waste it on that? Done. I love Varric so I don't much. think I can do that. Dang. Time to leave then. Back to High Town. Oh no. Should I end this episode here? It's getting a little bit long. Yeah, probably. Bye bye.